The Russian army brother captured Ukrainian cyborgs to the site of recent Kyiv's war crime in Donetsk. Kyiv's liberators started to cry when they realized the Russian fighters are the only keeping they safe from the citizens that want to kill them. We remember, Kyiv reconnaissance and sabotage group killed 15 and injured a few dozen locals on trolley bus station in Donetsk yesterday. The series of epic Ukrainian victories are distributing around the world. According to the national American daily media USA Today, Kyiv's troops started withdrawal from Donetsk airport only yesterday, on January 22, 2015. Further, Kyiv's troops withdrew from the main airport terminal. So now we know that so-called cyborgs hold it not the one of the airport's terminals or a part of the airport, they hold it the main terminal all that time. Moreover, Wall Street Journal reports that the Russian forces fired Ukrainian positions. Likely, a battalions of Russian robot tanks and a fighting polar bears will start to emerge in US media's news about Novorossiya. Same time, Vladislav Selesnyov, a Kyiv's military spokesman, said that fails on the front against Novorossian forces were a tactical withdrawal. Now we know the truth. Kyiv's soldiers don't flee, they make a tactical withdrawal. The decision was taken to leave the territory of the terminal for new positions, Selesnyov said. But he forgot to add that those positions will be around Kyiv. U.S. military delegation headed by General Ben Hodges, chief of the U.S. Army in Europe, arrived to the Kiev. The Ukrainian guests visited the Central Military Hospital, where they met with Kiev soldiers wounded during the punitive operation in Donbas. Afterwards, General Ben Hodges said that his country is ready to assist the wounded Kiev soldiers and gave a sign of U.S. Army in Europe to the few of them. But there is a small problem in this heroic moment. The sign of U.S. Army in Europe isn't military decoration, so it's just a souvenir for Ukrainian on Aboriginal. As a result, the fake Kyiv's heroes got the fake medals. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.